Oh, the space. Let's try use it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to use it. Why not? That's right. PMA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> PMA, PMA. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No PMA. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Now, are you going to change that trait to lightning wait, 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 reflexes? Wait, I, I, I froze. I froze. I didn't roll. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Now I feel people, bad. People need some sort of uh, re -roll, no. uh, option. That's right. Well, this is the middle part of the story where uh, things just get worse and worse. I'll say. It'll look better at the end. Yeah. The yeah. part of the end. Well, yeah. now we're going, to, we're going to discover, you know. Which which plucky, which plucky tragic or steadfast member of our protagonist becomes the martyr for the rest of them? That's, That's the right. question. I'm sorry to say that this has proved, you know, nigh, nigh deadly for Hatch. That you have zipped around oh, in no. different places and have sort of nudged individuals back to going in the right direction, at least back to the the where the protector annihilator is, but as you're zipping from place to place and have not quite yet got them all to do this sort of on the second pass right around the, the ones you can reach um you're going to the lightning reflexes betray you and you end up going face first into an electromagnetized nuclearized ionized <laughs> oh, no. boulder. nuclearized right um <laughs> hey. And so, uh, so there's a hideous frazzle of kiting, and and, uh, and you drop like a stone, right, and are still at its base, um, in dire danger of soon expiring. Oh, no! And and this terrifies all the rest, and they're scattering all over the place. So, no. uh, <laughs> right, so, what a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so Jerry. Jerry, it's on you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welp. Should have worked. I know. It yeah, should have yeah. worked. However, it did not work. So I'm going to scoop up what you tried to bring for the mulch. I'm going to scoop you up. And we brought all the equipment, all the stuff that we could, but... I'm going to have to like double down and right. say that perhaps there's better equipment in the the hull of the ship that could probably regenerate you. Um therefore it's imperative that we still like move forward and go. Now, Excellent. he's going with reckless abandon. It's like I've got to get to the ship. I've got to find the uh, generator. I've got to go. Mm -hmm. And from you know, I will make like a little like turn from where I'm at just to if anyone else decides to come out here leaving them a message that I'm still moving forward mm -hmm. and I'm taking off into oblivion, trying to uh, get to this ship uh, as best as I In fact, I'm going the to protect mm -hmm. Yeah, Go I'm going to uh, uh, protect, annihilate this planet. This planet has become my enemy. <laughs> and now it's, it's all straight paths through walls or, right. you know, through like, you know, just, you know, oh, blasting man. stuff and just moving. So what's your, so what's your trait? I'm curious. Uh, let's see. What, what, what do I got going on here? I've got probably nothing for desperate measures besides, oh, I do. My bio-augmented drone annihilator carapace. So I'm probably just taking hits left mm -hmm. and right. Right, right. As you're I'm like just out. moving. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah you're like, toughing oh. it out. I got you. Yeah. Excellent. I'm just going well, to rage You're getting way two dice from me, not one. Two dice because actually, you know, you there is a way to go, right? It's not like you're... Right. We crap shooting here. I mean, well, you are personally, but there is a way to go. Right. There will be actual landmarks. There will be, you know, something. You you know, this isn't the right way. That's a start. Right. Right. Exactly. So um so that makes a lot of sense. So two dice for me, whatever it is you have from that trait. Renee, I am yeah. actually going to have you roll as well if you're using your luck of the draw. Yeah, of course I'm using my luck. What? Right. So it's you only one the, die. Uh, it's only one die for me, but okay. if you get a success, then, well, how am I going to put it? The way this works is if either of you get a success, then, then it works. So it's effectively right, a see. combined pool. Effectively a combined. Okay. Pool. 
Right. Well, Less is more. I have eight That's dice. Classic. Oh, this is, yeah. What's that, Renee? Sorry. Less is more. Right. Well, there you go. <laughs> of course it is. True. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm blowing everything. All three of All my right. dice plus three of my carapace dice plus the two you gave me gives me eight dice. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah. I'm going for it. And I made it. Uh -huh. Both of you. Eight dice. One, one, uh, one out of what? eight dice. <laughs> so out of eight dice, I've got one. So I make it, but all and right, I am moving. Let's let's do a little thinking here. First of all, the two of you could do a joint narration, which is very easy to do, right? Just don't contradict each other, and it's perfectly fine, just like right. any narrations. Um, or one of you could choose to nut to take a die instead. Or both of you could choose to take a die instead. So, okay. what, what would you like to do, Renee? Uh, At the point, yeah, <laughs> through three pool die. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. She, she's 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 bulking <laughs> yes. up. She's bulking up. The she's numbers. bulking up. Right. Fair enough. Right. But you, uh, you know what? Old... I, mm -hmm. I had I had three dice left. I had but mm -hmm. that one. I had four dice originally, and then it went down to three. I'll I'll um since she's bulking up. I will, um, maybe I'll bulk up too, um, knowing oh, that, you know, we got yeah, there. Making me talk all the time. All right. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, uh, we're mercenaries here. We're trying to, That's right. we're trying to get paid. <laughs> right. I hear you. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm, I'll, I'll play it real straight because that's, that's what I'm supposed to do with the, with the narration. You know, something tells me we need to retire that term. Um, right. I will be I will be simple and direct in the in the narration. Okay. So let's see if we uh get to um yeah, you you do it. I mean, you you blaze your way through. There's uh you know, shattered rock, there's there's even, you know, a secondary lightning strike, you know, takes you in the side. Um right. and um you know, you're you're smoke you're a smoking cracked hulk, right? Right. But the uh, but the effect then is to get to indeed right when you think all is lost, you know, the you recognize it. It's right here. And sure enough, the, the wreck is and, and also I might say the wreck has not done well in the last 24 hours. Right. Um, and is visibly worse off than when you left. I mean, recognizing that this planet really isn't going to be kind to anything that's not made of itself. Um, right. And so, but yes, there's enough of the interior. I will tell you that all sensitive equipment is unsalvageable. I mean, there's, there's nothing in terms of wiring, data storage, you know, maybe there's like some data storage that's like solid state of some kind, like the right. box or something like that. But uh, but in terms of you know pure technical equipment, it's it's crap. It's going to be terrible. But what you were looking for, which was in, not movable at the time, which is the also built to last, as one would imagine. Hi, I love it. My mantra is the hive is not stupid. Right. That's right. You know, <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay. So what would it be like? Okay. We'll start there, which means that emergency repair slash healing is among the most durable of you know the the equipment right so therefore no it's not some highly delicate specialized oh no the regeneration beds have you know thrown a rod no this is right this is the the, the hefty stuff here so being able to uh to to save hatch is possible Okay. Um, the other one that got mulched. That yeah. I will use I will use that as mulch to help right. hatch. I'll right. you know, one in this end, the other in the uh, <laughs> yeah. that's the, right. The, the mulch end. input output. Right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That that actually makes a lot of sense too. So uh, so there you guys are, and the the salvage operation as such can proceed. Although you'll be able to carry less. Um, your uh let's just say you are as your story says feeling your age right 
Oh yeah, I uh-huh. totally collapse. Yeah, like, yeah, that's probably that's yeah. Like, I, I, so so yeah, I, I can see I can see Hatch, you know, sort of coming out, sort of rejuvenated, and you're like looking at this vapor, you know, <laughs> vapor emitting, exactly. you know, beat up, barely conscious, right? Yep, just ugh, ugh. <laughs> grab some stuff. We got to go back. <laughs> right and now, we're going back. <laughs> Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now it would be useful so, for me, considering your limited—not impossible, but limited—carrying capacity. Um, to uh, to to prioritize. I'm interested in your priorities, as far as equipment is concerned. Well, um, gosh, I guess. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming we have our. What limited food stores we have? Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you know what? Just the equipment to actually make the 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 hive work. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know, grab as much of like the construction equipment or atmospheric equipment or any pertinent thing that would make the hive thrive. Um, and I'll suggest that Hatch, you take this back. I'm going to try to salvage the rest of it because what I'm thinking is if if we can dig a hole at the belly of this ship and dump all the necessary equipment in there just as like a cache, um, essentially we're digging a hole, burying it under the, the ground because this thing's not going to last forever. Um, so we need to make a cache here. Um, you know, do you think you could go back by yourself? Frizzled, like burnt up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One eye bigger than the other eye. Right. <laughs> well, actually, do we have anything that maybe like with not really a wagon, but something that is wagon like, you know, like something to pull, you know, or if not, maybe we can make a makeshift. Making um, a makeshift one, or at least repairing one of the, the ones that was. Left because I think you actually did take something like that on the way in in the first round. I think there was some kind of right. sledge or whatever. So to do that now would be possible, but you know it, it it'll be a beta version, um, right? And uh, you know, and and Renee, it's definitely up to you to decide for Hatch whether you think leaving this fellow behind is a good idea or whether you two should go back together. Um, um, I guess that's the hard part about you know. Deferring to your elders, you know, at the hatch, I think in in the pit of your belly, it's like ah, that's not a good idea, man. You, yeah, I don't know, but uh, we can make it back without each other. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I, okay. I might try to uh, try yeah. to sway. It won't even it won't even be an argument because, yeah. you know, like if it was about like some type of like getting here, he just went into combat mode. It was basically like, you know, we've got to reach this line. <laughs> This is how we do it, you know. Um, but you know, logistics, he's realized after losing mm-hmm. the rest of the party that that's probably not his forte. So mm-hmm. it's like, okay, mm-hmm. I, I get it. Excellent. Get so out. yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. Um, so I'll, I'll leave you there, you know, packing stuff up and prioritizing. I would like to know, are you going to prioritize uh uh real basic things like really basic tools and materials or more sophisticated stuff that you hope you can purpose right into into Mm. use um you could probably prioritize a little bit on specialized fuel that you're pretty sure that you can't make right yeah Um, everything and and then another one to consider is data right well, if we can gather any communication equipment mm. and yeah, all the stuff we can't make, like, right. you know, we can make a hammer, but we can't make a fusion generator or right. whatever. Right. So yeah, the stuff that is more delicate, we need to bring back mm. the stuff that even if we came back in a week, it would probably still be there. It might be right. fried, but you know, like a screwdriver right. is a screwdriver, right. it, you know, right. we'll just and I did, um, and I did and, hear you about about making the cash, 
That seems like a very right. sensible thing as best you can yeah. in the most impregnable, you know, spot. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, I'm assuming underneath where the ship crashed, just dig a hole, put, because right. the I'm assuming the ship will just be a landmark now once we gather well, up even, everything. Even that, yeah. I mean, given its deterioration, you're kind of getting the nasty idea that given a month here, there, there's a reason why you haven't seen any remains of any other species on this planet. Right. Right. So, and yeah, any extra royal jelly, any jellies that may still be here. Right. Um, right. That's a good idea. In fact, mm -hmm. in fact, if we do find some, is there a way in this game that I can gift dice to someone else? So let's say I've got dice here. Could I gift those to someone else and maybe not necessarily for XP use? But for, you know, use in the game. Well, you know the what way I mean? You guys kind of did that already. When you both roll at once and when the circumstances, now this is me kind of riffing on the pool, right? right. For game design. But if we both roll and it, the, the circumstances are such that if either of you succeed, e then you succeed. E if that's the case, right. that's effectively a collective roll right there mathematically. Right. So that's kind yeah. of doing it already. Okay, dope. All righty. So, yeah, I guess we gather up the stuff and right. just find a way to be working together on exactly the same thing and then becomes a collective role. Okay. So, 